Hi there, I'm Chris for Tippy Club Gaming and if you follow me on Instagram then you'll have seen that I posted uh, a post a bit back asking for um, like techniques and things that you want to know how to paint. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. Link should be about here somewhere. There. So, one of my followers, the Sheriff Frayne, he just says, Glow! So I'm going to show you how to paint the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Wait, no. Uh, he asked, got any tips for painting glow from a plasma gun barrel without an airbrush? Okay, so completely different tutorial now. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of different ways I can show you how to do that. Let's do that. First, I painted the plasma gun. I painted it dark so the glow effect will stand out more. It's just a simple paint job because the glow will be the focal point. Start by painting the plasma coils white and also anywhere else you want to show where the plasma energy is. I'm going to paint the ports on the barrel, the inside of the barrel and the knob things on the bottom and the rear of the gun. Once the white paint has dried, take a very light green. I'm using a Joe Sonia yellow green, but any brand will do. Paint over all of the white paint. This will give us a really strong and bright colour. Any that spills onto the darker parts of the weapon around the coils, don't worry, because it will add to the glow effect later. You can of course use any colour paint for your plasma weapons, but this yellow green gives it that fallout plasma weapon look which I'm a fan of. Once that layer is dry, we go back to the white paint, and using a very thin brush we paint the recesses of the coils on the sides of the weapon but not the top. Don't paint all the way up the sides either. I go about halfway up but vary a little on each coil to give it a more dynamic look. I also paint about halfway from the body of the weapon on the portent of the barrel. Once the white paint is dry, I thin down the yellow green paint to a glaze and start to paint around the plasma areas. Start away from the source of light and brush towards it. This leaves more paint where you remove the brush, giving the effect of light drop off further from the light source. Build this effect up over a couple of layers, leaving the previous to dry before doing the next and moving closer to the light source. You'll also want to add this to the model holding the weapon. For the second technique, I've painted the coils the same, but instead of glazing the light on, we're going to use dry brushing and stippling. Using very little yellow green paint on the brush, stipple the paint around the light source and lightly drag the brush away in a circular motion from it to create a light runoff. Build this up until you get your desired effect. This technique is quicker to do and handy if you've got a lot of glow effects to do, but I prefer to glaze the effect personally. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't and hit subscribe to easily see my next video. Or don't. Whatever, you're your own person, do what you like.